All right, today we're going to be taking a look at the Advanced Scene Switcher plugin that is available for OBS, and it is a really cool automation tool. Uh, it does a lot more than just switch scenes, but let's go take a look at that. So first I want to show you this quick little trick here. You go to your Tools menu, and it'll be right toward the top there, Advanced Scene Switcher. Select that. And if you're opening for th this for the first time, you're just probably going to see two tabs, General and Macro. In the past, they had a bunch of other tabs that were a little more specific. Everything can be done by macro, but uh, for people like me, you've got that ADH brain, uh, it might actually behoove you to turn on the other tabs. So go over to General. You know, scroll down to the bottom here where it says Hide Tabs, which can be represented via macros. Untick that, and all of your macro uh, tabs show up at the top there. Uh, you should note whether or not your advanced scene switcher is inactive or not. You will need to start it at some point, but for now we'll leave it there. So we'll go through these really quick. You've got your macro, which is a catch-all to everything. Uh, I never really use title or executable. Region will let you make triggers happen based on where your cursor is. So if you watch, my cursor is being tracked on the screen. So if you're a gamer or a presenter, um, you can have your OBS automatically switch to a scene that is closer in on something like your game HUD or a specific aspect of a slide, things like that based on cursor movement alone. Media will let you uh, do things like when a video stops, you can play a new video play or go to a new scene. This is really great if you have like uh, an intro that you do and it's very timed out. You could daisy chain these so you have an intro, intro goes into a cold open, cold open goes into uh, a quick bio about your guest, and then that goes into a scene with you and your guest talking, all automated. You don't have to do a bunch of button pressing as a video is getting to the end, you're like, and go. No, it's all just does it, uh, and so on and so forth. There's a bunch of other things here, file, random. Uh, I've seen people do a bunch of random camera flips. If you have a bunch of cameras, it'll go like boom, 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 get this crazy effect. Time, uh, time's another really useful one, I think. So if you've got uh, like a start timer, that kind of thing, which you may have seen on this scene as I uh, pulled up the timer, the advanced scene switcher, um, when that is over, you can uh, automatically go into your, uh, your scene. This is also useful if you're trying to start and stop your stream. Um, for people who do things like a uh, Facebook stream that ends every eight hours, but you want to automatically start another stream after that, or your YouTube, YouTube only allots, uh, I believe it's 11 hours before the archive of that stream will not be turned into a VOD, so it's no longer a playable archive. So you might want to automate that kind of thing. We're at 10, hour, 10 hours and 59 minutes, it stops, waits a minute, and comes back on, which is something I've done with the kitten cam in the past for exactly that reason, uh, and so on and so forth. There's a bunch of other things, uh, you know, audio triggers and idle and stuff like that. So if it waits long enough, it'll come in. Yeah, so that's a really good trick to customize your advanced scene switcher in OBS. Uh, I think it's primarily really useful just for the organizational ability that it provides alone. So you know all of your timed functions are under one tab, all of your media functions are another tab and so on and so forth. I am going to show you in just a second how to use the catch-all macro to make a timed function. And uh, that will show you just the, the basic ins and outs of how to use it. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this uh, on Advanced Scene Switcher for OBS, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash samproof. And let me know if you have a specific use case that you would like to try to automate. And I might take that comment and turn it into a video in the future on my YouTube. Right now, I'm going to show you how to use the advanced scene switcher in OBS, the macro tab, to create a simple timed function, counts down from five, and switches to a new scene. All right, so I am going to show you how to do a really quick... Uh, macro here and we are going to use the time constraint but I'm going to show you how to do it in here uh, so we will call this five second okay and so we'll hit this plus that is in the first of the edit macro 
things and we'll go for if is right and then we'll change our second drop down to timer timer fixed duration we'll make that five seconds perfect and then we'll go to our second field down here and add a plus to that and this is our effect so we're going to switch our scene we're going to stay in program but you could have this go to preview if you actually want to manually toggle the change and i'm just going to have it go to this waiting scene and we'll use uh whoopsie apparently that's a uh, pop out doc look at that we'll use oh actually we'll use our our glitch uh stinger and we're going to go back over you'll see that time remaining is paused right now so we're going to go back over to our general tab and make sure our scene switcher is active now if i look at the macro it is actively um, changing and there you go right behind the scenes it, it did it so we'll do this again <coughs> and there five seconds i made that switch okay and that is a simple sample of uh, how the advanced scene switcher works. You can do a lot with it, and we'll take a look at more.